Hi, I'm here to demo two new features that we added to the digital stack service here at the Stanford Library. Uh, this demo is being made just to kind of be able to share um, and kind of demonstrate uh, what these features do. So the first feature we did was we added um, HTTP accept headers um, to all downloads that are going through stacks. So what this means is uh, this is uh, a standard header that the HTTP protocol uses and it enables you um, or a client to uh, request parts of a file. Uh, why this is important is this enables new types of downloads of content. Um, so one thing I'll demonstrate here is uh, a pausing of a download and a resumable download. Uh, where this previously wasn't available uh, we now have support for this. So I'm going to click on this file, which is uh, about 4.2 gigabytes. So it's going to take a little while, and I'm going to click Save, my browser window, and, and try to start downloading it. And then in Firefox here, I have this Downloads Manager. And, um, you know, it, it's saying that, um, you know, I have 16 minutes left, and, you know, it's only downloaded a portion of this massive file. So one great thing about resumable downloads now in Firefox, I can pause this. And so it works pause at 104 megabytes. And then um, maybe I need to go offline or maybe I wanna conserve bandwidth for some reason and I can just resume the download where it, um, where it uh, stopped. So this is a great benefit. There's other technologies that use this, but this is probably the most widely uh, widely uh, reusable, demonstrable um, way to show how this can can work. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because uh, I don't actually want to download that. Um, and then another example I want to show you is um, downloading all of the content for a given object in the Stanford Digital Repository. So in this example, there's two files. Um, and I've just used this example because it was an easy one to pick. Um, they're not very big, but if I wanted to download everything here, I'd have to click this one, you know, and I could download that and then click the other one and download that. Um, and, you know, it's okay with only two files, but if I had, if I had something like this, which has a hundred files that would, and I wanted everything, that would just take me a really long time. We have APIs that would enable you to kind of do this, but um, it'd be really difficult for a user. So um, we don't present yet to a user how to download everything. Uh, we wanted to put the technical pieces in place first, but uh, one way you could accomplish this now is by using our download the entire object API. And um, uh, by doing that, I can change this URL uh, to stacks instead of Perl. And then in front of the uh, Druid here, I'm just going to add object. And I'm going to click that. And it's going to ask if I want to save the zip file. And I will. And um, now I'm downloading that. Here's my, um, here's my downloads. And what it's done is it's now downloaded a zip file. Um, that contains um, both of these files um, uh, from the object inside of it. So what this will do is it will zip up, dynamically zip up all the content from a given object uh, that's available to the end user to access. Um, so that's the demo. Thanks.